role do you feel in the offense? And coming from a couple of you feel with Pat as far as chemistry? Uh, very comfortable. Very comfortable. Um, the playbook, similar now. I think we changed it a little bit, you know, but more or less the same. So uh, it's been easy for me to adapt to it, um, kind of carry over from last year. With your career going how it's gone, uh, where are you at mentally right now? Um, you know, I think I'm just happy to be here. You know, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better opportunity. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I believe so. I think there's definitely a report to be built on. I know we didn't have that last year really at, at all. I think this, this off season has been my first opportunity, our first opportunity to do that. Um, Coach Reed and the offensive coordinators and everything here, they've, they've given me that opportunity to try to, you know, uh, to get to that point with them. So, you know, we got some time left here before the preseason. So maybe we'll see what happens and uh, hopefully I do enough to make the team. Yeah, uh, for a team like the Chiefs coming to this team in different scenario, um, figuring out which roles to play, things like that, it was almost a insurmountable task, you know. So I was just happy to be out there, you know, be of any use I could be. Uh, but it was definitely, it was definitely a steep hill to climb. That's for sure. Josh, does it bother you at all seeing some of the suspension numbers given what your suspension was, maybe for something less serious now in the NFL? Um, it compares to well, I mean, specifically like a Deshaun Watson type of suspension. Obviously, what you did cost you more games. Than... Just different times. I think we're living in different times, and um, but I'm not really sure to to. To touch on that in this situation, I'm not sure the the details on it. I'll be honest, but you know, so it's it's really out of my hands, man. But I wish them the best. I wish the league the best. I wish they figure it out. So, yeah. what's it like being in that wide receiver room this year? A lot of guys getting a lot of competition. Oh man, um, some great group of guys. A lot of talent. Very deep. Uh, extremely fast. Um, it's, it's highly competitive. I think it's the perfect nature uh, to, to groom uh, young men for excellence, especially on the football field and off as well. You know, just as far as it's being disciplined, knowing how we got to edge out the competition, not not only each other, you know, for the sake of uh, our livelihood, but the, the other team, most importantly. You know, so. Um, Josh, yep. Do you approach the games at this stage in your career slightly different than maybe 2012, 2013? Man, at this, I mean, at this point, I'm just happy to have any preseason game. If I'm playing any, any game, honestly, anytime I'm out there, I'm just happy to be out there. If they, uh, if I'm playing, if I'm not playing, just to be in the environment, atmosphere, it's a good time. You mentioned you hope you, you do enough between now and the, and the uh, roster trimmings to make the team. What do you think you need to do to make this team? Make plays when coach asks me to. So you are looking forward to like the opportunities to get more reps and during the preseason games, especially. Absolutely, absolutely. That's that's uh, that's when it's time to do what we uh, get asked to do. You know, that's what I came here to do. Um, when the lights are on, you know, we want to do a practice first for sure, but you can't always get it right in practice. You don't always have the time, the reps, opportunity. You got to take the mental reps and what space and opportunity I have, and then uh, just go go show and prove it. So come go preseason games. That's what I hope to do. Generally speaking, uh, as you watch tape and kind of self-evaluate, how do you feel your camp has gone so far and what do you hope to accomplish the rest of the way? Um, I think there's definitely room for improvement always, as long as I've been doing it now. Still, that's a frustrating part of the game, the bittersweetness of it, but that's what kind of keeps us coming back, kind of like, you know, your golf swing or something like that, if you like golf, you know what I mean? So I love the game. I'm addicted to it. I'm obsessed with it. So I'm watching it. I'm watching to see, you know, how can I get out of the break quicker, maybe transition a little bit better, um, you know, after the catch, catching the ball in general, you know, things like that, so. What's it been, what's it been like uh, being with Corey Coleman and Camp Happy Hour? Corey, man, that's my guy. Love Corey to death. Glad to see him um, back out here doing his thing, you know, staying at it, staying hungry, diligent, hardworking, 
Um, definitely more mature, you know, from when I've known him, a long, young cat. So it's good to see him at this point developing his career and still hungry, still at it. And, uh, you know, the world is, uh, is, is up for grabs for him. So. Time together watching film or just, just hanging out? We talk football every day. He's always calling me about something, trying to figure out what I, what I think about some route he ran a week ago or something, you know, so <laughs> we'll end up on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do that a lot. Yeah, like when you, you're, you're a friend of the guy way back in the day, you mentioned the competitiveness of this camp. You guys maybe fight for the same spot. Yeah. I mean, and... Nah, I mean, he knows. There's no love lost there. You know, if, I, <laughs> if, he, if he edges me out, I, hey, I'd love it too. I'd love it. That means, he got, you know, I gave him all. He gave his all, and that's all I can want for him, you know. And, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's bigger than the game uh, of football, you know, so I just want him the best for him. And I just want to see myself do the best I can do. What's your confidence level right now that you'll be on this Um, <laughs> There's no telling. There's no telling. You know, I, I'd say, uh, you know, uh, cars are close to the vest, I think, as they should be for, for everybody, I think, for important reasons. But I'm, more importantly, I just want to go out and, and with the opportunities I get, give them 110% and wherever the, the, you know, where the cars fall, where they may, and, and see what happens. But I do not have an answer for that, to be honest. I, I don't, you know, I wasn't a starter last year, you know, so I'm not, I'm fighting for a spot like everybody else. Yeah. Josh, 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 Josh. Because you played with so many different quarterbacks in your mm -hmm. career, I just wonder what jumps out to you about Patrick when you guys aren't on the field practicing at this sort of setting in camp? Um, he's, he's very, he's, He's quick. He's quick-witted. He's, he's adept to things. Very, very almost before he sees things almost before they happen. Somewhat on film, he's noticing things in three or four different places at once. You can notice how just uh, how how attentive, attentive he is, and noticing just the, the environment around him. His awareness, you know, is uh, is very is very is very good. Josh, you talked about being great for the opportunity. I've heard it a few times. I think you've had it on social media. Just. What, what goes into that for you to just keep saying that and saying that you're blessed and yeah, having yeah, what I mean, goes into that? Because I don't think you have to overcomplicate it. You know, I think a lot of times we do tend to overthink things. I know I do. I can speak for myself. So you, I, I probably used to, probably more than I think I should. And at the end of the day, just controlling what you can and what, what we have in front of us. And uh, that's, that's the mindset, I think, to try to stay right there and, and live for the day. You know, keep it simple. What would today's Josh Gordon say to 2013 Josh Gordon or young rookie Josh Gordon? Oh man, um, it's going to be a long road. Uh, there's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs. Um, you know, when you're down, just keep going. You know, find a way, find a way, just keep going. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show. Subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get podcasts.